So we're talking about scatter plots and line of best fit. Now there's a question up here that talks about prom ticket sales. Let me give us a table here. And they want us to first, it says plot these data points. So we're going to do that first. I already went ahead and constructed a scale. I went up by one on the x-axis, because they have the x-axis for days. And then I went up by fives for each line on the y-axis. So first point is 130. Put that in. We got 235, um, 555, 760, and the last one is 1070. Okay, those points look good. Now, we did use a consistent and appropriate scale. So we got all our points in, and they're all consistent throughout. Now they want us to draw a reasonable line of best fit and write the equation. So for it to be reasonable, we have to have the same amount of points above and below it. Now I'm going to draw a line. I'm going to try to make it as straight as I can. We're not going to just connect the dots. So I'm going to try to draw this line so that I can have a few above, a couple below. Okay. Now there isn't just one right answer for this. There's different ways you can maneuver it. But in this case, I have a couple points just below it. I got one on it, one above it. They would consider that to be okay. Now what we have to do now is come up with a scale. I'm sorry, an equation for this. Now it looks like that my line looks like it hits at about just under 30. So we're going to use the old y equals mx plus b, where m would be our slope of our line. And B is going to be the y-intercept. Now, for this, they accepted anything between, I think it was 25 and 30. So, I'm thinking I'm just below 30. I'm going to give this a y-intercept value of about 29. Now, the slope, if I can find a couple points on my line, looks like right here, oh, I got about, I got a point here I can use. I have another point, let's say I use 0, 0.29, so we got 0, 0.29, that's one coordinate, and then we have about, oh, 7.60, so 0, 0.29 and 7.60 are the two coordinates, so that means we got 60 minus 29, over 7 minus 0, because so I'm using the slope formula for this. Well, if I simplify that, I'm going to get 31 over 7. Okay. Now, it's not the most perfect, but if I, c I could round that in this case because I want a reasonable answer. And with this, I get a decimal of just over 4. So, for this one, we could put as the slope and round it to the nearest whole number because they want a reasonable answer. They're not looking for an exact answer because our line's not perfect. So that's all for scatter plots. This is a three point question. Um, you get a point for plotting, a point for the line, and another point for the equation. And that's it.